Hey Aries, this is Moon Pie doing your love reading for April 2022. This will be for Aries Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Some of the messages may or may not resonate. Just take what fits, leave the rest. If you want to book a personal reading with me, there is a link in the description box below this video. Just click that link and that will take you to my booking site. Okay, Aries, let's take a look for April 2022. What are the energies? What does Aries need to know? What do they most need to know? Aries Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please do hit like, share, and subscribe on the video also if you enjoy. And I will be bringing back to you guys monthly readings. Okay, let's take a look here. Aries Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Okay, so we have the Two of Wands, Three of Swords, Three of Pentacles, Hmm, Ten of Wands, Ace of Swords, wow, and the Five of Wands, okay? Bottom of the deck, you have the Fool, so trying to gain a sense of freedom within yourself. I feel like you are on some kind of adventure, you, you're ready to go, maybe travel, take some type of, um, like have a new start, free yourself. This just feels like freedom, and it's almost like it feels like you don't, you may not even care about the consequences at this point. Okay, whatever will be, will be. However things go, whatever will happen, it's just an energy of letting go and beginning all over, getting some hope back in some way in your life here. Okay, um, maybe that's breaking free from a relationship or taking a risk or a chance in one. Um, so I see you here, the two of wands, you're at a crossroads. So it's kind of like, what step? Which path do I go? Um, you're kind of like, again, it could be travel plans. Where do I go? Where do I want to go? You have some choices here in front of you in April. And I definitely feel like you're going to be at a crossroads as far as which path or direction. And some of you might not be able to make a decision about something just yet because there is possibly you need to wait and hear back from somebody or um yeah you need you, waiting it could either hear back from somebody or you're waiting for some test results or before you make a decision or you're waiting there's a waiting energy yeah you're you're ready to go aries it's like you're 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 looking out on the horizon you're like yes i'm gonna do this yes i want to do this i just got to wait for the final call the final answer to come in so the three of swords is here some of you this could have something to do with surgery um maybe waiting for blood work to come back um and for some of you there is an energy of like waiting to hear back from another person is this relationship over um or do I need to be the one to end something here before I can move forward? There's definitely a strong urge for freedom or a new start in some way. Okay. So you've got the three of pentacles here. So there's training. I'm, I'm picking up some training here. Um, maybe it's physical therapy. Um, for some, it's just having um, Schooling. I'm not sure. It could be about school, but in love, there's also an energy of like, can two people come together and make something work or not? And that I do feel like since it's a love reading, that's the path. That's the choice. That's the crossword. Do we end it? Does it break? Is it done? Or is there a chance that we can keep going forward? Can we stay in this marriage? Can we stay in this relationship? Can it work out? You're, you're definitely though, wanting to break free of being in the stagnant trapped kind of energy here with the two of wands because the two of wands is just a waiting a waiting a waiting and it's like you're at the starting gate <laughs> for some of you it's like trying to make that decision for yourself um, and for others it's waiting to hear from somebody so that you can make some type of a decision yeah ten of wands like you're at the end here you're you're done carrying some kind of burden you're done carrying the weight of the world on your shoulders you are exhausted okay it's just stressful too much there's just too much so i feel like in april you're going to get some clarity there's going to be some communication or um your thoughts your intellect like you will how do i want to say this 
I feel like you're there's truth here it's clarity you're gonna right now it feels like as I'm making this reading you're not really sure okay you can't make a decision yet you know you want to go or you know you want to just have a new start or have a new adventure either try to make a relationship work or not but you can't stay stagnant so the ace of swords comes in basically to tell you you it's a light bulb there's a light bulb ah you figured out that you have a light bulb moment on what to do, right? So, and then with that five of wands, the the uncertainty, you're able to cut through that, okay? You're able to make this change and realign yourself to whatever path it is that you're trying to, trying to go and what you're trying to do here. So I just feel in April, um, you're going to have an aha moment. It's going to get clear. It's going to become clear to you what path you need to go. Right now, you're kind of like, I don't know. I'm not so sure. It's it's tough. I'm not so sure about this right now. And I feel like the energy is just telling you that's okay. If you're not sure about what to do, just sit tight. Just wait a minute. Don't rush into anything. Don't try to make anything happen just you'll find out that could be what you're waiting here is for the clarity to come now I'm gonna clarify no I think we're good I don't think we need to clarify okay no I do want to clarify I want to clarify the ace of swords here okay so you have the knight of Pentacles so that clarity comes in where it's gonna take a while but it feels like your hard work and your patience is going to pay off, okay? You, whatever it is, whatever this decision is, or whatever this situation is that you're trying to get ahead with or move forward with, um, it's going to come. And it's going to come in the form of a tangible... Uh, thing that's going to give you like symbolic it's going to come in as a tangible thing where they're like it's not just an aha moment but something to back up the aha moment that's going to say to you okay yes this is what I need to do this is the path I'm on this is where I need to go this is right this is good okay so if this is about um, repairing an argument or starting over in a relationship or any other thing that's going on in your life in April if you've been stressing over a decision or not sure what to do or trying to find out if there was a third party kind of thing or if somebody was married or whatever it is something that you don't know about but you are just desperate to get clear on so that you can accept it and move forward it's gonna come in April you're gonna find out all right let me see what your romance angels messages are here okay past life relationship so this could have something to do with someone whom is from your past or there is some type of past life thing where you guys have kind of like a recognition of each other yet there's a lack of being there's it feels like on your side you're not sure what to do about this or you're not sure what path to go here okay with a past life connection or someone that you've always i feel like i feel like you it's just you've known each other before that's what it is so but it feels mostly like it's someone from your past or that you've been dealing with okay allow your heart and sing allow your heart and soul to sing with joy passion here so this feels mostly to me like a lot of this decision that you're making or go or struggling with has to do with some something you're passionate about and you're being asked here to follow your bliss follow that passion whatever it might be for you or whatever you need it to be and you have flirt okay send your light-hearted energy to others hmm Well, Aries, you know, there's something going on here where um, this could be with a person that you are currently flirting with or connecting with whom you may not um, have or you may feel like you shouldn't be. And I feel like you're up against a decision now 
whether to end something with somebody else because you have a new passion or someone's flirting with you and passion develops. Um, and this, a lot of this could have a lot to do with you. It feels like possibly a relationship change, getting out of one and getting into another with somebody or ending something from the past. Maybe you didn't get closure on a past type of relationship and now you meet someone who is a past life, you know, someone you feel like you've known for a long time, the flirtation, okay? But you're seeking clarity. I can tell you that you're seeking clarity. Let me see what your messages of love here. Okay, time apart. Some distance will help bring clarity. So, wow, Aries, this does feel like it could be a relationship that you're currently in um, or that you're trying to get out. You're trying to get clarity right now on what to do about this relationship or this connection because there might be somebody new that you're talking to or connecting with that you might be a bit confused. <gasps> You've got past life love again. Oh my gosh. This is twice. Yep. <laughs> oh my gosh, Aries. Your soul remembers this intense connection. Wow. Maybe this is this person who could be flirting with you is someone that you knew from before or felt like you've known your child. I feel like it could have some, because the three of swords and the three of pentacles threes does represent you and two other people wow aries you're gonna know what to do some type of bona fide also um proof is in the pudding some kind of bona fide offer or something that will be shown to you um in april is going to like Pentacles are about physical. So something will be shown to you that's going to say to you, oh, I know exactly what I need to do now, right? Because there'll be proof here. Okay. Let's get some charms. See what your charm messages are here. Okay. So a key with a rose. Um, Siamese cat. I think that's a Siamese cat. Otherwise, I don't know what the hell that is. Maybe a... Oh. We're just saying a mirror cat, okay? Um, interesting. I feel like this key. Oh, I'm just seeing somebody with the name start start the letter E. Maybe it's Edward or Edwina or someone's name starts with an E. We have a rose here, okay? Connected to this key. So maybe somebody gives you flowers or your favorite flower, and that is like the key to your heart, or somebody. Maybe somebody's name is Rose or somebody uh, gets a rose tattoo or has one, okay, with a key in it or something connected to that. And we also have like, I was picking up Jacqueline or Jackie or um, I don't know what their names would be, Jack, but we have a rabbit. Somebody might be born in the year of the rabbit here, but this is like a fighting rabbit, uh, like one of those boxing rabbits. So it's like Dukes are up. Dukes are up. <laughs> maybe you're connected or this there's somebody it's you or somebody you're connected to um in a sport or does boxing or kickboxing i don't really know so i'm picking up they just told me meerkat but i don't really know what a meerkat really is or what a meerkat does so if that resonates for you in some way something about a meerkat or maybe it's um wasn't that a meerkat in that old lion king movie I don't know, maybe you're watching The Lion King. All right, I'm going to leave your reading there, Aries. I hope that that was insightful for you. Again, if you want to get a personal reading, click the link in the description box below. Please do hit like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you in May. Love you. Bye.